if you guys own this camera model or this few Sony camera models, I've got good news for you. Recently, I discovered this software called Catalyst Pro and it allows you to stabilize your footage far better than even Premiere's Pro Walk Stabilizer. So in this video, I'm going to give you a tutorial on how you can go about using this software to stabilize your footage and you'll be amazed at the results that you'll get. If you're interested, I also cover photography tips and gadget reviews. So do like and subscribe as we go along. So before we continue, a little background on how I managed to bump into the Catalyst Browse software. So as you guys know, the steady shot in the Sony ZV-1 does crop in quite a bit and it isn't the best. I even tried to use Premiere Pro's Walk Stabilizer but the effects weren't, we can say, satisfactory. The Walk Stabilizer does make it a little unnatural. I tried to change the settings but to no avail. I do not blame it as it was really quite shaky and I wanted to see if there are other softwares which can help me to solve this issue. A while back, I actually noticed that there's this software called Catalyst Browse through one of the YouTube videos which I saw online, but I did not thought that the ZV-1 was actually compatible with it. So to my surprise, I discovered that it was also free and decided to just give it a try. And the results of it was quite amazing. Here, just take a look at this. Here's the example of the raw footage and after it was stabilized using Catalyst Browse. I'm sure you're impressed on the stabilization too. So let me walk through with you guys a simple tutorial on how you can do this yourself. So what you want to do is open up Catalyst Browse and then go to the folder which all the footages are located. So let's take this uh, C140 which is the footage from my Sony ZV-1. You can see at the top right corner of the footage, there's this um, icon over here which means that it has gyro information from the footage. And then double click on the footage that you want and you can see that the footage is right here. So click on the stabilize icon right at the bottom left and you'll just take a few seconds to read out the information. As you can see, it's really cropped in, far too cropped in. Logically, I wouldn't want this kind of footage, it's too close up. So click on menu here and adjust it. And as you can see, once you adjust it, the resolution changes according to how much crop you have. So just try to put somewhere between 90, I'll prefer somewhere between 90 that is not too cropped in and then you just click on the corner icon over here and here are all the settings which I suggest for you not to touch because I have not touched them myself and I believe whatever you have recorded on your footages will be changed if you touch them. So simply just press export. So after you've exported it, let's put the footages side by side. You can clearly see that the right in footage is so much more stable than the left footage due to the shakiness uh, in the background. You can see it's so much more stable right here. So now let's put three footages side by side. The one without any stabilization, the one with the Premiere Pro's warp stabilizer, and the one with this Catalyst Browse. I'm sure you can agree the results coming out of this Catalyst Browse is quite amazing and definitely better than the rest. So here comes the not so good news. As mentioned at the start, only a few camera models are currently available for the software to be able to use the gyro information on the camera models to be able to stabilize the footage. Hopefully in time, Sony will include more camera models into this Catalyst Browse. But if you guys want more information or as well as updates on this software, do check out the link in the description down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, do give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And hit the bell notification over here so they'll be updated on my latest upload. If you guys cannot wait for my next video, which I totally understand, do check out my photography tips playlist over here, where I cover different photography tips, which some of them I don't think you know. If not, I'll see you guys in the next video.